Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to import the Poet Cloud into AutoCAD. Uh, usually when I finish the 3D scanning, I will put my uh, 3D scan files uh, into a recap for converting into the recognizable format that the Autodesk product can open, uh, which is the RCP format. The only way to do that is by using the Autodesk recap. So in recap, I will uh, separate the point clouds into layer, for example, this is layer 2, so that uh, when you import into uh, AutoCAD, you can individually turn on and turn off uh, each layer. Uh, because this uh, 3D scan file has um, about 90 million points, so it's quite a lot for some uh, computer hardware to open it and orbit, pan and zoom in the viewport. So it is um, better to uh, split this into uh, separate layers. Okay, when you uh, take a closer look into the export uh, files from the recap, it will contain uh, multiple files uh, and folders. Uh, each file contains the individual part that was separate in the recap. To import, the files you need to attach this into the AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, click uh, Insert, then click on Attach, and uh, then click on the RCP files. I you don't need to uh, click on individual part, just click on the main part and click on Open, and then there will be a dialog asking for the scale. This LiDAR scanner that I use, uh, you can use uh, 1 for scaling. Uh, insertion point will be 0, 0, 0 because I already put uh, origin point into the point cloud with the lead cap. So just click on OK. Now the whole point cloud will be shown in the viewport. Uh, next, OK. As you can see that the point cloud is quite uh, big and you can't uh, see uh, clearly. You click on the point cloud, there will be a new menu come up. You can change the size of the point cloud. So now the point is um, smaller and if your PC can't orbit uh, the point cloud is too many, you can lower the level of detail to uh, 5 for example. So now it's 5, depends on your uh, your hardware capability, but now I will choose uh, 10. Okay, next, okay, when you click on Point Cloud Manager, you will see a separate layer that was made with the uh, recap. Uh, I can turn off each layer, so um, the user can work with each layer individually. For example, if the user want to trace the uh, first floor, uh, the user can turn off all the irrelevant layer and just turn on the first floor for uh, tracing. Okay, when uh, tracing, I recommend to turn off 3D object snap because if you turn it on, it will uh, snap into the point cloud, which is uh, not necessary. If you left this turn on, you can use it for measuring. If I want to measure um, the distance, you can just pick one point because the AutoCAD can snap into the point of the point cloud. So you can snap and read uh, the value. Uh, the unit is in a millimeter, so make sure to set the AutoCAD units to uh, millimeter before you export the files. Okay, I will um, click on the point cloud and I will turn on all the other layer. So if uh, you want to uh, make a cross section for the elevation, I will go to the top view like this and click on the point cloud and click on um, a rectangular. There's a rectangular, polygonal and circular. I choose a rectangular and then I will uh, clop and keep the inside and now you have a um, section. Uh, you can cut any section and start to trace for a uh, cross-section lines. Click here for uh, doing the uncrop. Uh, I do um, the light section plane. Here section plane. You can move it anywhere you like. See here. You can click on the section plane and delete it to uh, disable the section plane. When you first got the point cloud, you can check either this point cloud is aligned to the x y axis you can start by uh, drawing a line this is uh, what they call line see here it's uh, it's not aligned so you can uh, either rotate rotate uh, the point clouds to match i click here click on 0 0.1 degrees see here it's uh, you can rotate until it's aligned rotate 0.2 degrees 
one more time rotate 0.2 degrees okay now it's uh, it's uh, almost aligned one more time rotate 0.2 degrees okay now the column is aligned see here the column is aligned to the xy plane so now uh, all of the other layers will also rotate because it's grouped into uh, a package so every floor will also uh, rotate with this and then you can start uh, tracing for floor uh, floor floor plans elevation sections uh, with AutoCAD okay thanks you guys for uh, watching I'll see you in the next video